Welcome back, my friends. Get ready. We all love this for some family fun. Zoo in the Park is back. Here to tell us all about the fun is Brittany and Chelsea from Isabella County Child Advocacy Center. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Great. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Of course. You guys do so much wonderful work. You have to tell us, what do you do at the Advocacy Center? Yeah, so we are a children's advocacy center. We provide forensic interviews for children okay. that have been victim of abuse or neglect. And we also have prevention education services that are free to our community members um, that help reduce that risk of child abuse and neglect. Yeah. What is the need, would you say, um, I'm sure you see this every single day, what's the need, Chelsea, that's out there? Is that um, in our area, there are a lot of kids that really need help and need resources and need to, yes. you know, just to live a, a normal life. Yeah, resources, education, yeah. prevention, child abuse, awareness, prevention, yes. education. We yes. do um, car seat safety, oh, wow. safe sleep um, programs. Yeah. Um, child abuse prevention programs in schools. So just that awareness um, that it, it is in our community. I love it. Okay, so that is why we need people to come out to your event. They are hosting Zoo in the Park. That sounds so much fun. It Tell is. us what is this? It's a great time. Yeah. This is an event that we hold annually to raise awareness on child abuse and neglect. Okay and to bring our community together for a fun night. Yeah. Um, it is on Friday, June 7th, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Island Park in Mount Pleasant. Uh -huh. um, it's an evening of fun. We have unicorn pony rides and face painting and a petting zoo and crafts. Um, we are also providing a free meal to everyone that comes oh this gosh. year. Every child that comes gets a free goodie bag. Nice. We are doing bike giveaways. Uh, free bike helmets for the kids that come, right. face painting, so much more. We're well, so why, excited. Like, why would anyone not go? Yes. <laughs> it's like it's the, there's something for everyone, which yes. I, I love that. Yes. Why would you encourage people to come out? Because you re really need these funds and you really need the help for what you do to continue. Yes, yep. Um, really to just continue to raise awareness. So raise mm -hmm. awareness that these services are here yeah. and free to our community members, and we want them to utilize them. And I'm sure you've seen the faces of the kids who get these services. Mm -hmm. What's that like for you when you say, when you know that you're making a difference? It, it's amazing. So it's super rewarding. It's super great to see families come out yes. and see our agency and the other agencies that come. We have different vendors from, from our community that who all kind of work together right. for the children of our county. So Well, you know what? You guys are little guardian angels on earth, so we appreciate Thanks. what you do. Thank, Thank you, you so much, of course. And we'll Thank have you. all the information. You're welcome. You have all the information about this event on our website, WNEM.com. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see in our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.